Um, everybody's gonna know who I am because I'm not gonna get saved out. So, um, I'm pretty much the town mama been to the town mama for many, many years. I knew Rashad, but he was a young kid. A lot of kids around here, they need someone that will help them get through this. They go through having parents that have addiction. I've seen it all. I've seen people that's had everything and lose it all just for either one hit or to get high. Um, I got two things I'm gonna talk about. The racism and addiction. Racism, to me, you shouldn't look at someone by the color of their skin. But the thing about it is, if God had a sense of humor and came down here and turned us all inside out, <laughs> we would all look the same about the addiction. If you see an, if somebody that's strung out, yeah, I'm not saying give them money, but give them their time. Giving somebody their time is not, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't cost anything. It doesn't, doesn't hurt you to give somebody five minutes of your time. Who knows, that five minutes that you give somebody just to talk, like in town, you see somebody sleeping on the side of, side of the street or they're just sitting there. Do you actually stop and make sure they're breathing? Or just assume that just because they're sleeping on the side of the street that they're on drugs? Well, nine, 10 chances they probably are. But have you ever wondered why they even started? Or why, or what made them get to this point? How would you feel if you, that person that you passed along, you seen See, a week, a week later, oh, they're dead. I've lost so many street kids because of drugs. I met, the first time I met my best friend's mother was to call her and tell her that her daughter was dead. Now, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I love the fact that I'm in that family and she loves, she calls me her daughter now and this, that, and the third, but to meet somebody, another mother, and to tell her that, hey, you know, their daughter's gone. That's, that's crushed, crushed me, crushed me. Martinsburg has just got so bad. I mean, I know addiction is all, all around the world, but I remember when my kids used to run around Martinsburg, and I didn't have to worry about them running up on a needle or somebody asking them for their little bit of money they got that I gave them to go to 7-Eleven. Now, I have three beautiful grandchildren that I can't go without not seeing them if we go out in public. Like if they go run off for, for a second and they go behind a bush or something, knowing I just seen them a second ago, I freak out. It shouldn't be like that. I, I, I go by that whole, whole old school thing it takes a town to raise a child. And that's why I became Big Mama. Because the kids that called me Mama, they were out there wilding. That didn't let them cuss around me. And needless to say, we know the younger kids, they shoot, they cuss like a sailor. And I'm surprised I ain't dropped the F-bomb. But I promised my homeboy that I would try to contain my cursing. <laughs> but you know me, babe. I just, I wish that everybody would just lend a hand. You see a homeless person, you got, I know everybody in this world or in, in Martinsburg's got a fucking extra blanket. Oh, I said the F word, sorry, sorry son. Um, got an extra blanket when it's cold out. I mean, I've even given extra blankets to somebody that used to live, used to stay behind the dollar store. If we had more people, I'm not saying like me, cause I'm, I'm, I'm one of a kind and everybody knows that, but if we stuck by each other and stopped, just stopped and enjoyed like this scene we're, I'm looking at now that makes me just happy and sad because I, I used to come here when I was little. I even had a sister-in-law that died in this very spot. It's sad to just to look at Martinsburg and see what it's become and to know where 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 it was. 
we just need to love and be positive. Yeah, it's hard to look at an addict and be like, oh God, what do I got to deal with again? Or walk into 7-Eleven, what are we going to deal with at 7-Eleven? That's, that's contagious. The negativity is contagious. Send, give them a smile. <laughs> Maybe that might have changed their mind of going out there and getting the hit. Smile at them. Say hello. Something. Just give somebody your time. Don't have to give them money, like I said before. I used to work at 7-Eleven, like I said in the beginning, and I used to get in trouble so many times because there was homeless people coming in in the winter and they were freezing. Freezing! And the owner at the time, not now, but the owner at the time used to bitch at me because I gave him a hot chocolate. Let him sit inside for a little bit because I couldn't do nothing. They couldn't come to my home because at the time I was, I was homeless living in the shelter. But if I could go and give someone that's homeless, that's freezing, a hot chocolate, that goes afar. That's what we need to do. We need to stop looking at the color. We need to stop looking at people because they own drugs. We need to stop, just stop, and love. Darn bug. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. I had so much in my head. I didn't even sleep last night thinking about what I could talk about. But just because I'm a street mom doesn't mean it doesn't still hurt to know that I gotta go to another funeral, another funeral for one of my street kids because they had, they felt at the time that they didn't have nobody else. They couldn't turn to no one. They couldn't find me and that hurts. So if you see somebody on the side of the road see somebody sleeping on the sidewalk, take a two seconds to look at them and make sure they're asleep, they're actually breathing. It's said that I gotta explain to my five and four year old granddaughters that they have to grow up in this type of world. And if, if we as people would stop, like I said, stop and give somebody their time. I lost my dad twice in my eyes because I got taken away when I was seven and he could have saved me and took me, but he chose alcohol. And then the second time was he died of sources of the liver because he wanted to drink his life away. Knowing I was bitching at him the whole entire time, Dad, you gotta stop. Come on, Dad, you gotta stop. You're gonna die. He thought he was invisible, but he found out he wasn't. And that's what's sad. But anyways, Y'all love each other, love your neighbor.